Well, it's been a warm day throughout the sunrise side. Temperatures have been going up all morning long, and now as we're into the afternoon, entering the evening, temperatures are getting ready to descend. So yes, a big roller coaster, all associated with a cold front. Temperatures this afternoon topping out into those upper 50s, and at this moment, already 59 degrees in Tawas, 58 in Oscoda. Thank you for tuning in to your Tuesday evening weathercast, but temperatures already beginning to drop further inland, 51 in Atlanta, 52 in Mile. Overall, those southwesterly winds have been dominant throughout the entire day. 14 miles per hour in Alpena, 16 in Rogers City, 17 in West Branch, but we'll start seeing that shift in those wind direction, and that's going to eventually allow that cooler air to descend throughout northeast Michigan. Now those wind gusts, they've been howling throughout the afternoon between 25 to 30 miles per hour, 28 in Alscota, 25 in Alpena. Stronger wind gusts in Grand Rapids at 37 and even in Ironwood at 39 miles per hour. But in the last 24 hours, 22 degrees warmer than it was at this time yesterday in Alpena, 24 in Oscoda. And everyone has gone into the act when it comes to the sizzle on this Tuesday afternoon. Now, when it comes to the rain, though, we've seen mostly quiet conditions throughout the morning. We even had some sunshine, but things are changing. We're dealing with a little bit of light rain making its way throughout northeast Michigan into Atlanta, Hillman, Posen. So watch out for some of these light rain showers as they make the way towards the south. And there is even that small probability where by the time we get deeper into tonight, we could see a little bit of a small changeover into snow, but it's very isolated, very straight around a 10 percent chance for tomorrow sunshine takes over we'll actually finish off with mostly sunny skies then we'll re-increase a bit that cloud cover towards late wednesday night into early thursday morning and this one will actually bring somewhat of a better opportunity for some rain showers with a little bit of a mix early on in the morning but when it comes to those temperatures though they're really going to stay stationary for the remainder of the work week and even going through this upcoming weekend then we'll clear up once again on friday and then another shot for some showers as we progress towards Saturday. But we'll keep that chance on Saturday around 20%, actually a little better probability for Thursday and even more so for next Monday. So for tonight, we'll deal with a good amount of cloudiness, but temperatures on the free fall, 46 by 7 p.m., all the way down into those upper 20s by 7 a.m. Chances for some flurries possible, especially as we head towards sunrise. For tomorrow, we'll eventually end up with mostly sunny skies. Temperatures about a good 20 degrees cooler than what we had today. Sunset occurring at 4.55 p.m. Temperatures in those upper 30s. By tomorrow night, we re-increase those clouds ahead of that cold front that arrives on Thursday. We could be dealing with that rain-snow mix. Pleasant and mild on Friday. Isolated showers on Saturday. But those temperatures in those lower 40s for the afternoons. Morning temperatures around 30 degrees.